Look at us now. Daisy Jones and the Six. I still haven't seen this. Is it good? I'm, I'm, it sounds like it's good. We got this great music behind it. Wait, hold on. And then... Oh, I'm gonna show you how to play that. Like and subscribe, let me know other songs you wanna learn on guitar. Uh, that that part, like I, I've, I've literally listened to the song probably a good 10 times now um, because it's been a couple of weeks that I've looked at it and went, I'm not ready for that. I don't think I wanna do that yet. But now I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a better headspace to kind of take this on. So uh, thanks for your patience. <laughs> um, all right, so. Let's start with kind of your beginning plucking pattern, because that's going to be the hardest thing that we're going to do today. C is your first chord, 032010. If you need help understanding, uh, by the way, how all this works, how, how the number system works and everything, there is an Instagram post in the comment section that you can check out um, that will teach you all about, you know, kind of what to do here. And I wish I'd, I had it when I started out, because, you know, I think it would be much easier for me now to do uh, what's going on here. All right, so on C, we're plucking A, G, D, B. Okay, so A, G, D, B, G, okay. And then you're gonna go, you can either go three, five on the B or three, three on the B and zero on the E. I think that might be easier for you instead of going now if you wanted to be more accurate you might need to slide uh. Uh. Uh, shoot I was trying to do the slide <laughs> right so but you lose, you lose that chord sound when you slide up because you're taking all your other fingers off, so then you're just gonna be left with, right? Okay, instead, I would do this. Right, you still got that, that C kind of ringing out in the background, that root note. Okay, so there's that. E minor. So zero two two zero zero zero. You're gonna pluck E E D. Sorry E G D. And then on G, you're gonna go second fret D. Sorry, second fret zero fret second fret fourth fret. Okay. So E minor E G D on the G two zero two four. And you might need to either slide up or or extend the pinky. Okay. Uh, and then for G, this is going to be kind of the most technical one, I think, because you're going to have to do this little. Right? You're going to have to do this little. <laughs> um, this is not right. Put a finger on the third fret B, okay? So it's a G6, basically. Na, 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 I'm fine. So hot like a G6. Okay, so this one. E, G, D, okay? And then on the G, two, zero, and then D, and then B. And then D again. And then do the two, Zero two zero D on on the G the two zero. Okay, so the whole thing again E G D G second zero D B D two two zero D. Okay, so the whole thing. All right, so you're gonna have, probably have to practice that lick just by itself. Okay, and then for D, you're gonna. This is a, this is gonna be a simplified version of this, just to say it. Mm -hmm. 
So D, you're gonna go D, G, D, and that G is on the second fret. D, G, D, B, and then on the G, two, zero, on the D, four, zero. Okay? All right, and then you go back to C and you start over. Okay, E minor. Right, G. Now let's see if I can do it without talking to you while I'm playing it. Ugh, I can't. I'm just started I've just started playing this song. So, you know, I'm I'm still gonna be a little rusty, and so will you probably to start. Um the the key is to just continuously hit it until you build that muscle memory and then you kinda get into kind of a more of a uh. <laughs> I'm, watch me struggle with this a little bit more, I guess. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Alright, so. That's about as good as I can get it. All right, so uh, then you're gonna go into A minor um, to a C to a G, all right? So it's gonna be A minor zero zero two two one zero. And this part you can kind of strum it C to so you'll need to know C seven later on zero three two three one zero. So I'll show you how to do. That. Okay. So after the plucky part, you're gonna go A minor, uh, 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 C, down, da, na, D, down, na, 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 da, na, na, A minor, da, na, na, C, da, na, na, D. Right? And then we're gonna get into this, this more of a rocky part as I. So this part, C to E minor, is gonna go down, up. Okay, down, down, up, and you're going C, E minor, then G, G. So the, the C, C to E minor is going to take up six beats, basically. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, G, 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 two, uh, uh, uh. Right? And then you're going to go, uh, you know, I think you go back to the, the plucky part to start over. Right, and then do that part over again. Um, and then you'll do all this part over again, and we're gonna. You're gonna go to A minor to C, to E minor to G. Uh, and then there is gonna be sort of like almost like a free bird kind of thing going on. We're gonna A minor, B. So when you hear that, it's A minor. B, your B is just a transitional between A minor and C. So just take your finger from that D and put it on that second fret, A. Okay. And then you go to C, D, E minor, D, A minor, B, C, D, E minor, D. So it's kind of like it's a looping kind of scale there. And then you go back to the A minor to C to E minor to G. Uh, and then I think at the end of it, you're going to A minor, C, E minor, D. Okay. 
And then we have this part sort of at the end uh, that'll be more of a G, C, E minor, and then C7. Right? So let me let me just hear that real quick, just so that I'm not I'm not giving you the wrong information here. Right. So this is how do we get out, right? And look at us now. So it's got this this quarter note beat, right? So G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, E minor, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C seven. Right, and so that'll take you kind of out of the song, all right? Um, so, you know, I mean, I think most people probably are looking for that plucking part, and you got it. You know, if you have any questions, let me know. This is this is definitely not a superly beginner tutorial, but we're going to try to make it as beginner-friendly as possible. So, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.